Great news, NASCAR is bringing a ultra soft tire to the all-star race. All right, if you're a new viewer to the channel, you probably didn't hear me talk about my idea of NASCAR using the all-star race as a testing ground for the short track package. We know that they've done it in the past for the intermediate package. That's how we ended up with the high downforce, low horsepower package, which maybe wasn't the best. But now that the all-star race is on a short track, I said NASCAR should use this as a testing ground. And they are, thankfully, they're going to. NASCAR announced on Tuesday night the format for the all-star race as well as some tire changes. They will be bringing two different tire compounds for the all-star race. They'll be bringing a prime tire, which will be your standard Goodyear tire with the yellow lettering on the side of it, which will be a harder compound. They'll also be bringing an option tire, which will be a much softer compound. In fact, the softest compound that Goodyear makes for the Cup Series. It is the wet weather tire without the tread on it. That is the softest compound they make. It will have red lettering on the side, so you'll be able to tell the difference pretty easily. This is great news because they needed to bring a really soft tire. And since the compound already existed before the wet weather package on the wet weather tires, taking it and making it without the tread for at least a one-off for now was achievable. And they're bringing it for the all series, which is a massive win for everybody involved. NASCAR wants to, and NASCAR and Goodyear, want to create tire wear, a lot like what we saw at Bristol, but maybe a little bit more predictable in the sense of like, well, after 40 laps, it just goes out because that's really only 20 miles. So they're looking for something that maybe lasts a little bit longer, and they're going to trial this wet weather tire, essentially is what it is, with the soft compound of this, which is good news. I'm really excited for this. So the format for the All-Star Race this year will be, once again, 200 laps, million dollars to win, of course, two breaks this year, one at lap 100, one at lap 150, which sets up a final 50-lap stage. Cars must qualify on the prime tire, which means they must qualify on the harder compound tire. We'll get to qualifying in a second. And then they must start the race on the option tire, the soft tire. What they do after that is completely up to them. Now, I'm a person that loves strategy. I like the idea of having multiple different strategies. For this instance, I don't necessarily love this because what if that prime tire, the harder compound, performs really well and say it doesn't really have that big of a drop off from what we see with the option tire, which it will. The option tire is super soft. It will be much grippier, much quicker for a few laps. But say that this prime tire, it doesn't really wear out over the course of a 50 to 100 lap run. Now this option tire, while quicker for maybe five to 10 laps, wears out super quick. Who's to say that these teams don't just all go put on the prime tire and we learn nothing about the option tire? I would have preferred NASCAR to say, hey, for 200 laps, here's, you know, four sets of option tires. Go out there and figure it out and then see how these teams can conserve tires, see who can wear, see how these tires wear out for the option. I wish that's what it was. It's not. I'm open to the strategy. Like I said, I love strategy. So hopefully it does play out much better than we anticipated. But for now, I'm a little skeptical of maybe how that's going to play out. However, I cannot stress enough how excited I am for the fact that they're doing this because they desperately needed to do something. They're done with making arrow changes. That's done with because those weren't really making big changes. They refuse to increase horsepower because we know suits hate horsepower, but also they're trying to attract Honda and they're like, stop talking about more horsepower, We're trying to land a... Uh, behemoth over here and you guys won't shut up about horsepower right now i think they privately maybe have yelled at people but they would very much like to be like shut up just shut up right now except everybody's like hey a thousand horsepower so they're going with the tire situation which again i'm fine with so qualifying for the all-star race will be different this year as well it'll be a lot like what we've had in the past because the pit crew will once again be a part of qualifying qualifying will consist of the car going out taking the green flag running one lap at speed pitting for four tires and a mock fuel stop because you don't really need to fuel them up because it's qualifying. And then they'll go back out, run a lap at speed. And then obviously your cumulative time will you know set wherever you're at in the order. A lot like what we used to have at Charlotte. No word, I didn't actually read if there's going to be a pit road speed limit as well. I did not see that in there. Regardless, I like the fact that they're getting the pit crew involved in this because at the end of the day, this is a team sport and a lot of these races are being won on pit road at this point, unless you're 2311 racing or Denny Hamlin at times. But for everybody else, they're generally winning races on pit road going forward. So the all-star race will, of course, be on Sunday night, May... Now I'm blanking on when it will actually be. May 19th, uh, which is also Indianapolis 500 pole qualifying day. Kyle Larson could be in for a heck of a travel schedule. The All-Star Open will happen at 5.30. 
The All-Star Race happens at 8 p.m. Like I said, there will be uh, the option to go between the two tires. They will have nine sets of tires for the weekend. Five sets of primes, four sets of options. Team have three sets of primes and two sets of options for the preliminaries, practice, qualifying, and heats, and two sets of primes uh and options for the main event so that's the breakdown for that teams must use all four tires of the same type at the same time so no mismatching tires no putting the the prime tires on the left side and the option tires on the right or vice versa however you want to do that you cannot do that at all obviously like we talked about qualifying will be conducted on the prime tires the harder of the tires and then they must take four tires at the midpoint break of the qualifying heats, the open and the all-star race. So you have to take four tires. Like I said, regardless, I'm excited for the fact that they're bringing a soft tire. I hope the strategy plays out really well. I hope we don't get some sort of trickery, uh, a Frank Stoddard situation. Just kidding. But I, at the end of the day, think this is a positive step in the right direction and something they desperately needed to test. And if it goes well, you could see this tire be used at the short tracks going forward. They said basically anything smaller than Darlington, which makes me seem to think that we could possibly get this tire at like a Dover, New Hampshire, which would be nice, Bristol, obviously. And then you also have Nashville, which is an interesting one because it is smaller than Darlington right now so i'm interested to see if they would consider bringing this tire there because it's only 1.33 miles and that's kind of on the same size as darlington but it will be interesting to see sort of where they draw the line and where they're going to take this tire to and where they're not going to take this tire to because right now bristol races really well and the mile and a half race really well so really they just need this on short tracks uh so we'll have to wait and see how it goes but that's what they're doing for the all-star race i'm excited about it and hopefully it plays out as well as we're all hoping for Everybody's been clamoring for the Bristol tire. This is a softer compound than the Bristol tire. So we'll see what happens. North Wilkesboro, though, did get repaved recently. So it could be a bit of a toss-up. But if it doesn't go super well at first, don't, don't give up yet. Continue to bring the tire. Continue to try different things. And we'll figure where we're at. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard. Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.